Now, Walter, I'll give it to you here once, and then I'll read it to them. In Hollywood, Neil said, I'm in real pain. Today, I tried to catch a falling star. Unfortunately, the falling star was blank. <laughs> Neil said, I'm in real pain. Today, I tried to catch a falling star. Unfortunately, the falling star was blank. Ready, Miss Brett? In Hollywood, Neil said, I'm in real pain. Today, I tried to catch a falling star. Unfortunately, the falling star was blank. Firecracker. What? Firecracker. A firecracker. Well. Yes. That wasn't so good. <laughs> well, Walter, I think you misunderstood us a little bit there. I tried to catch a falling star, but the falling star was Orson, Orson Welles. Welles. <laughs> See, Orson Welles is rather large. Large. And, uh, Fat. And he, well, I wasn't going to say that. No need to be hateful, dear. You may be there someday yourself. I work it off. Uh, Ernie Borgenagenegan. Oh, really? I didn't think. All right. Well, he's a bit of a chunk. May Bush. May Bush. She fell very hard. She did. Sound came in, and her whole career was just Pretty simply good. gone down the tube. <laughs> right. But she wasn't especially large, was she? No, but she was silent. I see. All right. Connie, I tried to catch Falling Star, but the Falling Star, and unfortunately, the Falling Star was... Drunk. Drunk. That's why he fell down. All right. I don't think Walter's so far off as you might think. I just think it's a terribly dumb question, but I said Orson Welles, but hang in there, Walter. Orson Welles is a good answer. The answer. Right, Deb? Yes. You got it. Okay, so there's the end of round one. Score is tied zero to zero. We're starting our winning ways again. We go to round two here, and since she went first last time, you go first this time. Be the please. Be it is, all right? Hank said, I just walked into the world's sleaziest bar. Not only... <laughs> sleazy is a big word on this show. Yeah. It's like a sleazy question. You don't want to do that, do you? Yeah. All right, Hank said... I just walked into the world's sleaziest bar. How sleazy was it? Oh, it hurts. Not only were the waitresses topless and bottomless, they were blankless. <laughs> not only were the waiters, uh, not only were the waitresses topless and bottomless, they were blankless. <laughs> See how easy it is? Here we go. Hank said, "I just." Walked into the world's sleaziest bar. Not only were the waitresses were the waitresses topless and bottomless, they were blankless, hairless, hairless. That a boy. That is good. Oh, you kidding? Had no hair at all. What do you say? I blanked on this one. I said mindless. Actually, mindless is one good. Any number of good. I what? I put hairless. And threw it away. Away. Now wait a minute. Wait, wait, Terrible. she threw that one away, she says. Wait. She's upset. Uh, brainless. But brainless there. I said shoeless. No. Shoeless. Did it occur to you to say hairless? That would never occur to me. Oh, really? Huh. Why are you staring at me like that? Well, I mean, the lights are very bright in here. When you're attractive, it doesn't matter whether you have hair or not. That's true. Tell him, what have you got there, Connie? I get the feeling I've been on the road too long. <laughs> Toothless. Toothless is okay. Toothless. Topless, bottomless. And... I just want to go on the record that I think Walter gave the best answer that has been given in four weeks. You're right. That's an and, excellent answer. Walter, a good answer. And for that, the producer should give him $100. That's between you and the producer. Leave me out of it. Well... Tough wackos, Walter. There'll be no hundred for you, guy. But I did say brainless. Brainless. Darn. Hairless is what he's looking for. Yeah, no. no. I said worthless. Worthless. <laughs> Hairless is so good. So you have a shot at winning it with one match right after we talk about this. Here we go. All right, Kerry. One to win is all you need. Frank said, my Halloween date was a real dog. She wanted to go bobbing for blank. <laughs> Richard. Uh, Carrie, here it is. Uh, Frank.
Frank said, my Halloween date was a real dog. She wanted to go bobbing for blank. For bones. Bones. That's what dogs do, isn't it? <laughs> Time to get down and get serious. Bones, bones wins the game. What the rest of you have? Hold them up. Bones, bones, dog missing bones. bones. Okay, come on down, Terry. Now, Walter, we're going to whirl you off here around the back for a little while, but you'll be back later to play game number two, okay? Bye. Hang around here, Walter. Don't go too far. Hello there. Ready to have a go at it? The big money here. Big money super match where you could win over $10,000. We polled the studio audience not too long ago and said, write down your best answer to this. Whistler blank. Whistler blank. Now, let's see who will offer you a little assistance here. Um, Bart, please. Z mother. Whistler's, Whistler's mother. mother. All right, there's one. Um, McLean. <laughs> uh, nose Whistler. That's stupid, so I won't say that. But, uh, Whistler in the dark. Yeah. Whistler in the dark. Yeah. Whistler in the dark. There was a song, Whistling in the dark. Yeah. Whistling in the dark. And Brett, please. I knew she was going to do that. <laughs> Whistler and his dog? Whistler and his dog Whistler is a famous song. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -da -da -da. Yeah, famous old song. Yeah, yeah, do the whole thing. <laughs> you are right. right. in Thailand. You're right. <laughs> Wasn't that done on the um, that show with all the little kids? That I don't know what you're talking about. I don't either. We do have Whistler's mother, Whistler and his dog, and Whistling Spanky's Whistler in the gang. dark. Spanky. Are the three that given you? Now you choose one of those or give us one of your own. Whistler's mother. Whistler's yeah. mother is what we want. Let's see if we have it up there under the $100 response. Whistler and his dog. That was Spanky, There's the song. Spanky's gang, our gang. Right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's you're right. Maybe see the next one, please. Whistler in the dark. All right, last chance for Whistler's mother. Here we go. Hey! Whistler's mother. Congratulations. Bart, give me that one. Go up there. Right here. Silly me. All right. Now you've got five hundred dollars. You like that part of it? And my husband's not here either. Ah. Well, I'm going to Las Vegas tonight. Let me tell you, got a free seat. No, you see, here's the way it is. Okay. Gene, now behave yourself. I'm not doing anything. I'm just talking to the microphone here. You've got five hundred dollars. It means the least you'll play for is ten times that amount. Or five thousand dollars, but we've got to go up there now. I know how we're going to walk. We're going to try <laughs> and spin that wheel. And if you get a lucky spin, you play for ten thousand dollars. Let's go up okay. there now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good luck to you. It must make one revolution. Remember, here we go. $10,000. Good for you. Ready, Connie? Here it is. Bagels and blank. No help from the audience, please, because you may be saying the wrong answer. And if she hears it, she might give the answer that would be poor. Then. Your job is to match Connie. If you do that, you get $10,000. What do you say? Cream cheese. Oh. Go, All Connie, right. go! Yeah. Bagels and cream cheese, what she said. What do you say? I thought you were Jewish for a minute. Cream cheese! Congratulations, my dear. You have a total of $10,500.